Okay, so today will be um is our second tutorial Java Eclipse using Eclipse, um and today we'll be making a basic uh a basic first program. So um and Java is a very interesting uh programming language. It's kind of branch off from C plus plus. Um, Java is pretty much uh it's actually a really secure language. It um it, it pretty much allows for I mean, it's, it's actually constructed with a with, it's virus free, and it's tamper free. So it actually kind of um, it's secure basically. So when you write a program, it's actually you make it secure. So it's actually tamper free, um, and it's it's very um, it's very robust robust too. Uh, it, it's it's basically um, it, it actually supports the the development of, of programs that don't actually overwrite memory. Or um, so it's kind of robust if you think about it in that way, and it's really portable. Um, it basically allows you to make it, well, it really allows you to make programs that you can run on any type of machine. That's the that's like one of the greatest things about Java. You can pretty much run it on any machine. Really important key factors, man, about Java. So that's just a little background history about Java. Um, and uh. So um, let's get started with our first program. All right. So um, the first thing we're gonna do is we wanna do file and new like a new Java project, and this is basically just a folder that we save um, this project into. So let's just name it uh, first. Let's go Java. First, first, uh, first Java program. Let's just name it first Java. Okay. First Java and just do finish and we should uh should say and then we're gonna go to um just X out of this and then we should open up once you X out of that it should go to your package explorer and you should see um you should only have this is your first time using Eclipse you should have only one folder and it should be uh first Java so the first Java we're gonna right click on SRC which is our source or a folder that holds our source code for programs and we're gonna do new class. So once we do new class, now we need to name our class. Our class is basically the name or the the actual source code of for our for our Java program. So we'll just name this um uh, intro. Let's name it. Let's name it intro introduction introduction. And um, you want to do public uh, public static void string args. It basically saves you some time for asking, having to write the actual line of code to make the um. To make the program actually a public to run, so um, once we do that, just finish, and we should get a basic code page that comes up after this. Laggy, so there we go. So now we have a basic program um, interface. Let's get rid of all the asterisks and stars. We don't need it. And uh, just space enter. And um, so the first thing we need to do is. Uh, so we're just gonna make a basic program to actually uh, put your name and your name and your telephone number. We're just gonna tell the computer to display it on the console or output. So the first thing we wanna do is um, some basic type system, cap system. So um, next thing we wanna do is uh, system dot out. And basically, what system dot out is actually an object. It's actually telling the system. Um, it's actually an object that knows how to display or print characters in the terminal window. Or oh, it's, it's basically telling the system to display out. And we're going to do uh, stu dot print line. And uh, in Java, you kind of abbreviate everything. So print line basically. It's telling the computer to print a line of code. So now it's asking for our argument. So we're going to do parentheses and semicolons. And you all, anytime you're displaying your text on the screen to the user, always put semicolons so the computer will know it's a string. So we do my name is uh, my name is Ducky. My name is Ducky, and 
on every line of code you always need to actually display you always need to, to put a semicolon at the end of each line of code to end it off if not you'll always get a syntax error so let's add our semicolon and let's give some space and um, another thing um, is comments if you're into ever building comments well basically when I, well, I'm giving you tutorials you can kinda take notes on everything I do by making two slashes and this allows you to say this displays this tells the system to display a display code display text so basically what I just did is um, we're actually making comments and this allows a user that's building a program to make the program more organized and make it more so that people can understand what you're actually doing in the program if someone's helping you. And it also is good for study purposes for students, right? So um, you might want to take notes on like the rest of in the future for future references on future programs. So let's go ahead and run this. So in Java, uh, this little arrow up here, green arrow, is basically the run arrow. So click that run and it should actually save it. There we go. Save and launch. So yes, we want to save. So um, now let's go ahead and run that, and there we go. So we ran it, and now it says, "My name is Ducky." There we go. Introduction: My name is Ducky, and so congratulations, everybody! You just made your first Java program. So um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and um, stick around for my third tutorial. See you later.